so we went to Walmart tonight on Black Friday to pick up this because it was all sold out on release day. And I thought, you know, this is going to be my only chance since I didn't pre-order it to get this package. And it was pretty crazy out there. Yeah. And also... I've seen worse. <laughs> yeah. Also, we got the deal on this. Normally $69.99, we got it for $59.99. And nobody I, was waiting for it. In line. Yeah, no one, I was the only one waiting for it. Everyone else was wanting the Kinect for some reason, I don't know why. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool. At least but it's something yeah. good. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if it was worth saving 10 bucks to stand in line, but I thought I might not get this package if I don't, so... I mean, come on, it's collector's edition. Right. Gotta have it. I don't know right? how long... I don't know how long they're gonna offer it, so that's why I wanted to go out there and get it. True. Because yeah. I'm done not to pre-order it. <laughs> Alright, so let's open this bad boy. Are you ready? ready? Alright. <laughs> Here's the cover. It's all nice and shiny. Indeed it is. Here we go. Pull out the gold remote. A Wiimote, I should say. <laughs> oh, you even have a cover. Yeah, comes with a sleeve. That's pretty sweet. Pretty nice looking. A lot better looking in person than what I've seen on the pictures. Pretty nice. Oh, look, look, look what you get. Oh, snap. Nintendo. What do you get? Set, fix this up. Batteries. Woo! Gold They're even batteries. golden. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now that's, so that's, that's legit. That's, that's legit nice. right there. They're like, oh, we know some people are probably dumb enough to not pick up batteries for this. <laughs> So we're gonna put batteries in there. That's that's legit. So here's the game. Now this version's not any different than the version they're selling right now, separate from the collector's pack. But it's still sealed up in plastic. Should we open it up or look at the instruction manual? Ah, it's like it's another stuff, and we'll open the game. Ah, uh, this is just for the Wii mode, pretty much. Uh, All black and white, boring. Don't read that. Dumb stuff. We don't need that. <laughs> I know how to waggle the remote. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so we're removing the plastic. Why do they have to put plastic on it inside the... I guess for people that... Don't want to get ruined, man. You got peanut butter on your fingers, you know? Yeah, and people that hoard these collector's copies or whatever, and then they... Want to keep them sealed so they can sell them for like three or four hundred dollars on eBay yep. later on. You know what the best part about new games is? The smell of the it. Smell. I love the smell of new game, dude. Like, it's just amazing. Yeah. Can you smell it? <laughs> smell it. Smell it smells it. great. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the music CD, which they're only offering for a limited time, so. If you're a Zelda fan, put it down. Fix it. If you're a Zelda fan, you need to pick this up soon, and don't wait for it to go on sale because you will not get this disc. Just get it off Pirate Bay. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. I'm just kidding. For serious collectors, you need to pick this up before they stop offering this disc. And here's the game disc. Good artwork on the the game disc. I didn't even like get it that well. I so. might use it. I don't even know what it's for. Oh, if you like The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, check out these other games. What games does it show? Hold on. It's like this one, yes. This one, yes. This one, no. <laughs> we like, what the heck? Why? How does that? How is that familiar? For to late, Skyward Sword? yeah. That's, 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 I guess because it comes with the motion plus controller. <laughs> Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I like Netflix. Awesome. Nice. And here is the symphony pamphlet. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Lined up how to do the Triforce. Yep. Does he even have a shield with the guy in the front? That's pretty cool. Yeah, shield and sword. That's Miyamoto. 
Well, there's I a can't link. zoom. Okay. You see a little small uh, Wind Waker link back there? Where? Up at the top, very top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's holding him up. <laughs> That's funny. These are like the music composer, producer, and that's Miyamoto, the creator of the Zelda series. Then it gives you the track listing in three different languages on the back, and there's eight separate tracks in the disc. I see Gerudo Valley in there. It's the one that jumps out to me. Gerudo Valley. <laughs> Alright. There's the booklets. Man, it's a lot of info. <laughs> yeah. That I'm not ever gonna read. Nice, colorful instruction book. Pretty cool font. Look at this. I like the full color instruction books. Mm -hmm. I think it sucks when they send black and white ones. It's like. They don't spend as much money. On yeah. those. Cheap. Cool instruction book. Now this is what I don't get. Why would you throw this away? This is a recycle yeah, right? logo. Yep. Don't throw these away. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Alright, that's pretty much it for the yep. unboxing. Go so. ahead. Alright, so anyways, we're fixing to play this and you'll get our first thoughts on it. So Let's play it. Let's play it. Left play. We just got through playing. Skyward Sword for three hours? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, we got to, we're, we're still on the main island or whatever in the sky, but... Skyloft? Um, yeah, Skyloft, yeah. yeah. But we have the, what, Goddess Sword now? I think so. Which is like the Master Sword before it's the Master Sword? Yeah. Um, and Zelda's lost fell down to the surface, which everyone already knew because of the trailers and whatnot. So that's where we're at, if you were wondering. Right. Um, so what do you think? Um, like, you know, what, like, what was your first impression? I liked it. I did too. Like, it took a little while for it to get going. It did, and it we've, we've heard people talking about that too. It did talk to a lot of people. But... You needed to know the backstory, though. Yes. It was, I don't know. I mean, you needed it, but at the same time, you're like, oh my god. Right. Hurry up. <laughs> but the process of it, I mean, it was, I think they did it well. Yeah. Just leading up to it. There wasn't a whole lot of action, but there was enough to keep you in there, I guess. Right. So. Um, one of the first things I thought was, like, you know, obviously the graphics. Everyone talks about that. Um... When I first saw it, I was like, uh, that was my initial reaction, was, uh, you know, I, did, I was like, I don't think this is working out well. But then again, I had that same thought for Wind Waker, and after a while, I didn't even notice it anymore. I ended up loving the graphics on Wind Waker, and that's how some people kind of thought, too, when they first played that. So when I was, whenever we were playing this, you know, I was like, well, I think this doesn't match up well, them trying to do this, like, Wind Waker half twilight half like mixture and I didn't think it was working well but then after a while I just got used to it and I was like okay yeah it's fine it looks great like there's nothing wrong with it in my opinion what would you think about that I like the way it looks uh, I'm probably one of the few people that was a fan of the Wind Waker graphic style like even before it came out I thought you know that looks really cool as to where most people were saying that looks, that looks terrible. You know, I, I don't even consider that a real Zelda game. But <laughs> How people, dare you? <laughs> those people have never played Wind Waker, so they don't even know. Right here. Like, it's one of my favorite Zelda games. Zelda all the way. 
But I, I really like the graphics. Oh yeah, here's one of the first things we thought of too. Um, for anyone who has played, well, I mean, you probably don't even have to play to know this, but the birds that are like flying around and stuff, um, use those to like get around place to place. The first thing we thought of whenever they were talking about how people get their birds was the movie Avatar. Right. You brought that up. How they have a special connection with one certain bird. And that was kind of the same as the dragons or whatever they are in Avatar. It was like almost exactly like the right like yeah. And his <laughs> his is like the only red or crimson what do they call them with the birds? Um I can't like, remember. The hero in Avatar like Tamed the big red dragon or whatever it was called. So it was like all so those it kind of same similar, similar to that. I thought yeah. they slipped in the 25th anniversary in, there <laughs> in the storyline. <laughs> yeah, yep. I for the uh, the ceremony that they they did at the beginning for the academy, the night academy or whatever. Right. That's what it was their 25th yep anniversary. We're like, oh, really? What a coincidence! Right. <laughs> Never would have saw that coming. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, the mechanics in the game were pretty good. There was uh, a lot of new things they added. Um, there, I don't know. See, we had a debate about this. We couldn't remember if in Twilight Princess you could look around, like zoomed in, like your first person, and move around at the same time, like move your body. Um, on the previous Zelda games, you know, you're just like frozen, like your body can't move, but you're just looking around, you know. Yeah. I think um, and we, we had a debate because I think you could. I don't think so. I, think, I don't remember exactly. I think this I is the first remember. one where you can walk around and be in that first person mode where you're looking at the same time. You like, you know, look with the Wiimote and then you're still moving around with the nunchuck, which we thought was pretty cool. We were like, oh, that's, that's different. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, what, what was, there was something else. The, the whole, like, dash thing, the um, stamina, of course. Right. That keeps people from rolling around instead of running around. I mean, because when you roll, it takes stamina away. Everyone who plays this old game rolls everywhere they go. I know I do. But they <laughs> they fixed it to where when you're outside, when you dash or when you run, it's pretty fast. Like it's, it's faster like, than the rolling. Yeah, there's no need to do that. Anymore. So you don't have to roll to get around fast anymore. You can actually run like a normal person <laughs> would do in real life. So that was good. It also affects like a, uh, what, what's that called? Like when you're on the edge, you're like grappling over. It's not grappling, it's called spells. Um, but like you're on I the edge know. and you're just going like, uh, uh, like side to side, that takes stamina. So if you run out, well, you're gonna fall off the edge and die, which would be great. The way uh, you control the sword, I thought was pretty awesome. I did too. It was okay in Twilight Princess on the Wii. I didn't play it on the GameCube. Austin did. Um, you know, you really could control it like you can in this game. Like, it matches your your hand motion wherever you're going, his hand is going. So, that's pretty cool. And it's pretty, pretty accurate. You don't have to, like, move around a lot. You can just, like, barely move it around or whatever. Yeah, if you want to have it, like, you know, like, way over here in real life, you know, all you have to do is just kind of move it. Like, you don't have to move your arm much at all. Well, you can do that if you want. I mean, yeah, you can still do that, but if you don't want to. You know, they incorporated that. But, yeah, in Twilight Princess, it was the same thing, because they had they had ported it over, you know, from Wii to GameCube, and just mirrored it. But, um, it, it was the exact same sword movement. I mean, you couldn't control it with the Wii mode. You just swing it, just like you, you would, like, press B on the remote. Right. For a GameCube, it just swing, just... So there, there wasn't any, like, in-depth like there is now, which at first I didn't know what to think, and then once we started playing, and, like, Gary got the sword, <laughs> and then you started moving it around, I was like, wow. And, like, actually seeing it first person, like, I wasn't playing it, he was playing it, and I was like, wow, that looks badass. Just him playing it, you know? Yeah. And then I actually got to play, and I was like, oh, wow, you, know, you can actually, that's, that's pretty sleek, you know? Like, <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Yeah, to me... It, Until it, you play it, you won't know. To me, it made it feel a little more fun than just the static uh, swings that, that Link normally does. Like, you actually kind of have some more control over it. 
And see, I didn't know what to think about that. After all the stuff I've seen, like E3 and just Expos and, you know, them showing all that, I was like, that looks kind of gimmicky or, like, stupid. Right. But you have to do it. You have to play it. Give it a chance. Because I give any game a chance, really, but it's really cool. Just, just do it. <laughs> just play it. I think another thing that was different was the shield. Like, normally when you see target, the shield's automatic. Link automatically holds the shield up. But in this one, you actually have to pull it forward by jerking that. <laughs> jerking it. Jerking it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving the nunchuck. There you go. <laughs> Don't go jerking your nunchuck. All right. Um, but yeah, what, what Link normally does is when you pull out the sword and shield, you know, like you usually just run around and pull it out. Um, in the other games, yeah, you had out your shield and then you had your sword. So, like, you could just always block. But now he just has the shield down and holds the sword out only. Unless you want to use your shield, then you have to actually use your nunchuck and help pull it out. And then, but every time you swing, you, you put the shield back down. So you got to think about that. When you dash, you can uh, run up walls now. Right. Which is really cool. Like, run up walls. Like, you can only do, like, two steps. But, hey. Run up walls now. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Yeah, instead of, uh, instead of like standing below and then jumping straight up, he kind of runs up the wall first. Yep, so and then grabs the wall. Like a marine or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of nifty. Right. Uh, let's see, what was some other stuff? Oh, you, you can take a shit now. <laughs> oh, that's true. So. <laughs> With your pants on. <laughs> your pants on. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I don't know how that works, but... You know, I'm not gonna ask. I guess if you like shitting in your pants, then this is the game for you right here. And they, like, have the auto sensor on the toilet, so once you stand up, it automatically <laughs> flushes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, even though they're in the, uh, you know, not-so-advanced world, they got some advanced toilets. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta invent that shit, man. Zelda's beating us, man. Come on. We got, like, swords and shields still. The part where you have to fly to and the race to catch the uh, the bird with the statue is pretty difficult. Like, I mean, it, it may be just because I'm not used to it yet, but it's... You just barely have to move the, the limo to make the bird turn. And then you have to do like that to make him gain altitude, but you know, hold it down to dive to gain speed. It was pretty hard. <laughs> I was just watching it and I was like, oh my god, this is hard. And then when I actually tried it, I was like, oh my god, this is hard. It's still, <laughs> like, you know. So ho hopefully there won't be too many of those sequences. Because, I don't know, it's more frustrating than enjoyable in that part. I mean, it was really sensitive. Yeah, it's kind of fun flying around, but, like, I started to get frustrated because... It took forever. Yeah. Everything off in the distance yeah. has, like, a mosaic look to it. Mm -hmm. Kind of blurry. It's like dots. It's almost like a... Like a... Like everybody says, like an oil painting. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know. At first, I was skeptical. Once you get into the feeling of the game, everything just, it, it, the way they did it, it all feels right. There's nothing out of place, in my opinion, really. It just, it just looks good. Your helper in the game is like some weird... Her name's Fee. Yeah. F-I, right? Fee or Fi? Uh, I would say Fee. Fee Fi Fofum. I would say Fee. Some, uh, some weird, like, super intelligent being. We don't know what she is. She's like some kind of spirit of the goddess the of the like sky that. world or something. But anyways, all, all I know is it's not Navi. <laughs> not Navi. Or she's, Minda. It's kinda, it kinda acts the same way as Minda. Right. Like you press down on the, uh, the Wemo and she'll like pop out. She like lives in the sword. She doesn't say, hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> like hey, the, I always hey, thought that was annoying. Hey, hey. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Hey, you! She doesn't do that. Like, dude. At least not I got that it, know. right? I'm going to Death Mountain. I got it. You've told me ten times now. I got it, okay? She doesn't do that, which, thank God they haven't done that since. Right. And that was annoying. 
Everyone knows. It's I thought it was kind of <laughs> odd that she has no arms. arms. No, <laughs> the the voice, like the voice acting, like oh yeah, she has more of a, a speaking part than anyone else. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't talk any, like yeah, it's some kind of so weird language, language that they understand. The characters look yeah. like the Wind Waker characters, like all of the NPCs in the game, all look like. Wind Waker characters, but like more detailed. Like in Wind Waker, everybody's clothing didn't have detail or that mm-hmm. much on it. And yeah, but they I thought feel the same way. The characters look it's like Wind, Wakers. Wind Waker, and Link looks more like Twilight Princess with the maybe Wind Waker like feel just the like coloring, a, the coloring of Wind Waker. It's like he, it's like they they took the Twilight Princess Link and just put him in a different world. Yeah. And he's like surrounded by different stuff. Man. I like that because I thought in Wind Waker, using the cell shaded graphics conveyed more emotion in the people's faces. They were able to be more expressive, I think, mm-hmm. than in Twilight Princess and other Zelda games. Oh, at night, like ooh, yeah. there's enemies at night, and like there's a. Like, a cat, some kind of cat creature that's nice during the day, but evil at night. It can fly with its ears, man. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like, oh, 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 oh. It's like Dumbo. But yeah, but in cat form. You can like hit it a few times and it'll run away, and you can pick it up. I don't really understand why. <laughs> we haven't got that far yet. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> we haven't gone to the surface yet, so. This was our initial thoughts. Right. Nothing. So, <laughs> my initial thoughts are that it's pretty pretty great so far. I would agree. I was skeptical. Even the first hour, I was still kind of edgy about it. Like, uh, you know, and then after a while, it, was, it clicked. I finally, I don't know, just something about it. Like, you just have to play it like any other Zelda game. It sets a mood. You just gotta get into it. And you'll love it. You know, the case was cool. The, uh, right. the CD was awesome. We listened to that. Really, really good stuff. Some of what was the, uh, uh, that one song that was really, really good. Just the main theme, right? The right. main theme was like probably the best one. Right. It was like really well theme. done. So listen to that if you've got it. The Wiimote works really good. Uh, it's synced up. Just fine. I don't know if people have had trouble with that, you said? For some yeah, reason. because they forgot to uh, hit the sync button. <laughs> hit the, the red sync button on the Wii and the remote at the same time. Yeah. Like, you don't have to press them at the same time, like launching Just... a nuclear missile. <laughs> but Turn you can, the key here. You can press <laughs> this the on the, Wii, on the Wii and then press it on the Wii mode. <laughs> and that's it. That was a good analogy. And it'll work. That was a good analogy. I like that. <laughs> Like, you don't have to do them at exactly the same time. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, like, I don't know. I like the case. You know, I, my sister's got a way. I don't have a way because you've probably, you know, if you've seen the other videos, you've heard my, me bashing on the Wii. But I might actually go buy this game and be like, sorry, sister. You're going to give me your Wii now for <laughs> the next month or two so I can play this along with all the other good games out right now. Like, yeah. So yeah, go try Skyward Sword. If you're a Zelda fan at all, go play. That's right. Yes. Hi, and Gary from GameStorm. Until next time. So we just played. This is our. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I don't even like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Yes, please kill me. Keep killing me, please. That's what I wanted. Obviously. That's all recorded, too. Good job. This is. <laughs> I didn't know you were recording.